Okay, there isn't, but I will go back and save while I'm here. Bum, bum. Um. Ranger 14 Gala. We are rich. Ranger 14 is not all that much. Oh, we did get that cartridge. I should have equipped on someone. Who's it for? It's for Dean. Yeah, an eight boost. A boost of eight attack. Pretty good. Candy rocket. Oh, you got a um a better one. Less hit, but that's fine. Trying to think here. What the heck? Right, we had the mountain medium. I don't think I've tried this medium. Protect Mystic. Protect Mystic Defender. Locker Invincible. Turn Shift Shut Out. Arno gets some of these skills. It's like a mix of Arno and Yuli's stuff. Hmm. I mean, ideally, I should probably put it on one of the characters. I just don't know who. Maybe Avril? Someone's gonna have the Sky Medium for the magic. Although, if we have two Sword Mediums, do we really need the magic one? I feel like we don't. Oh, the lay MP regen is good. This one gets HP regen. We could try it out for a bit. And see how it goes on Avril. Although I feel like that's a medium I'm not going to use all that much, but we can give it a try. I mean, again, six characters. I'm assuming there's just six mediums. That would make the most sense, so we're missing one medium. You understand? You have the capacity to build a bridge between Varuni and human. It may not be an easy task, but it is one that you, only you can perform. I will, of course, give you any help you need. You can do it, can't you? Yes, father. Especially if it's something only I can do. But don't push yourself too hard, okay? I can. I can live with the way things are now. No, mother. It's not fair that you can't go outside when you want to. I want both of you to be happy, so I'll do my best to bring the Varuni and humans together. Wonderful. I'm truly proud of how you've grown, my son. I don't understand why, for the flashback sequences, they just show you gameplay footage. It makes no sense to me. What's wrong, Mother? Why are you crying? And where's Father? When will he come home? Mother, what's the matter? Varuni have been causing problems for you again, haven't they? I won't let anyone make fun of you just because you're human. Tell me, Mother, who was it? Yeah, this is, like, so weird of an image. It doesn't match the dialogue. Is that him, the Varuni half-breed people have been talking about? Yeah, he says he's studying the human world so he can build a bridge between Varuni and humans. I mean, unless this relates to Dean in some way, which it might later. Ah, like that's actually possible. What he's trying to do, get the Varuni mad at us? Yeah, seriously, as if things weren't bad enough already. Why doesn't he just let get out of here and leave us alone? Why is it so saturated? It's actually kind of hurting my eyes. Father, mother, I don't think I can do it. No, I can't give up yet. Not until I've tried everything I can. Haha, <laughs> indeed, it's too early to give up. Who's there? I've waited long for this day, for the arrival of one who can at least... Who can at last fulfill my desires. I am one who will give you power. You are the only one who can fathom my despair. The time has come. Take my power.
<laughs> okay then. My liege, my liege. Unless this somehow leads to Dean and Volsung being connected, I just find it so weird how the imagery there is gameplay footage of Dean on the map or dungeon. Like he was in front of a Soul Niger. Oh, Faradun. My liege, are you alright? You seem disturbed. I am not at my best, perhaps, but it is of no concern. You seem worried. No, not at all. As long as my liege is unharmed, I have no worries. In any case, what's your purpose here? Do you have any news for me? Yes, my liege, concerning the humans who have been searching for Johnny Appleseed. I've received word that they are currently heading for Honey's Day. What? Honey's Day? I see. Perhaps then this dream was not an omen of misfortune, but... Faradun, keep a watch on those humans. I do not know whether it is proper to call it a watch, but Perse Persephone informed me that Duo Grimaton is already following them. Is that Duo? That's just his full name, maybe? He may be rather inflexible, but he is certainly well suited to such a task. Very well. Have Persephone instruct them to record their every movement. Yes, my liege. Ooh. Dude, one of the best things about Wild Arms 5, two of the best things about Wild Arms 5, the cameos, obviously, and the world. Getting like, getting like a pseudo, not open world, but like, zones like this, it reminds me of Dragon Quest 8. The world map is very Dragon Quest 8. Also, more enemies I remember from the other Wild Arms games, nice. It's very nice. The world is really, really good looking. It matches the Wild West really well. This place is really nice. It has like actual, it has greenery, which is interesting. Because most of the areas we've been to are like more wasteland-like. It's like Wild Arms 1-esque. Because Wild Arms 3 was like very much a reality of like the whole world. The whole Fogaya has been dying and like there's no water. And there's no greenery at all to be seen. But Wild Arms 1, the world was like deteriorating. Well, in 3, it already deteriorated, basically. And that was the whole point of the experiment from the Council of Seven and everything. Die. Sixteen ton. I should have hit the Ammon. That would have been smarter. Hit me, I hit back. There you go. Keep it up. That's invincible status to the hex until next ally's turn. Ooh, it also has Mystic. Attack turn shift. Shut out. Right, Yuli had this, I think. Or no had this one. Or no had the shutout one. Over there. Goodbye. Nice reflex up. Dean's really something, but I'm gonna keep up. Keep on improving. Yeah, this is a very much a wild arms one like area even a bit more green because wild arms one had a nice blend of Searching. like fantasy and wild western Searching. like the world was deteriorating and wasn't deteriorated yet and three was Searching. the complete opposite it's like hey the world is like full of wasteland and sand the the, the water was freaking sand oh hello glad I didn't miss that one. this looks really nice though Up. 
Agony effects. What next? Let's move in other wild arms games. Can I do this? Do I have to be in the same hex? Yeah. Go with Avro. Shoot these two. Easy continuous shot. Hit him with the heavy crush. We rolled right over him. I'm actually like, this is not wild arms related, but I'm very, I'm still contemplating what I'm gonna do because if we're finishing Tales of Arise tomorrow, right? Because if I really count my stream days, I'm not going to stream on Thanksgiving, because it, it's Thanksgiving. That leaves me with Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. That's like... Yeah. That's five days. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Five days. There would be no stream on Wednesday next week. Thursday's kind of a toss-up. Don't miss anything. So that's five stream days. On the one hand... Let's take a good Doing look five back-to-back -back Wild Set Arms in. five streams wouldn't really be smart. But on the other hand, if I start something else, I would only get Set like in. two streams of it in before in. Dragon Quest comes out. See anything? But on the third hand, there's no actual third hand, but you know what I mean. On the other other hand... Dragon Quest Monsters is the only anticipated release in December. Searching. So I feel like I can handle three games under my belt. See anything? So I think I am going to be starting something new to take Arise's place and just add Dragon Quest on to the, the list. Just have three games going. I think I, I, think I can handle it, probably. But you're not Rebecca. <laughs> Let me get Dean in the middle and get a trigger Rondo. Well, first I should crush, and then we can get the trigger Rondo. And that also... I'm actually not sure what I'm going to start. I'm not starting Zero until after Wild Arms 5. So I'm like... Maybe I should do something short. No mercy. I don't know. I'm sure I'll get that figured out before the weekend, but I, I, I probably am going to start something new. Maybe I'll do like a short game. Maybe I can get a game done in like a three stream period or something. Maybe I can find like a quick platformer to play or something. Let's take them all out at once. Oh, this hits everything around me. Nice. It's a classic. Trigger! Because there's also January 1st I have booked for something. So I'm a little worried if I start the game I want to do this weekend. I'm a little worried that I won't have room for the January 1st game. Because I don't know how long Dragon Quest Monsters is going to be. Because I have never played the Dragon Quest Monsters game. I'm literally playing the game because it has Sorrow. And it references Dragon Quest 4. That is the only reason. Don't miss anything. I'm a little conflicted on what I'm gonna do. Don't miss anything. 
let's take a little look-see. Don't miss anything. Searching. I think it'll work out, maybe. Just take a look Maybe around. if I keep my current Let's schedule, I think it'll around. work out. Let's take a good look. Hello. I forget that we don't have any crush anymore. I think at some point we're gonna want to put Avro back with the sword medium. I just kind of wanted knows. to use this medium for a bit. Oh, there's a critter back there. I didn't even notice. This is for my friends. I can't lose. People are depending on me. He's almost level thirty, too. Entrance stairs on these day, dude. This looks beautiful. Let's take a good look around. This environment looks really nice. Hopefully, we get some wild arms cameos here. Here we are, honey's day. It sure is a relief to get back to civilization. And I'm sure I am hungry. Come on, let's go find some food. So that's what you were getting all antsy about? Well, I guess it is just like you, huh? Haha. <laughs> There's a place here called the Hometown Cafe that serves good meals. Why don't we go there? Good meals? Alright, come on then, everyone. Let's sit out for the Hometown Cafe. Dean, it's right over there. It's a parrot. Save my game, buddy. What the heck is this? Just looking at it gets me all excited for some reason. What the? That was a weird sound. 